Being self-employed was the hardest thing I've ever done. It's also been the best thing I've ever done. But I learned something through this process, and what I learned is the road to being is through doing. If you want to be successful, you need to do successful. You need to find people in the industries that you're after, the industries that you're excited about, and see what the rock stars in that industry are doing, and find a way to do the things that they're doing. There's, there's a great saying in entrepreneurship, uh, and it goes like this, one of my favorite sayings. It's kind of like wrestling with a gorilla. You don't quit when you're tired. You quit when the gorilla is tired. And you don't know how long that's going to be. Now you look at any business, there's always like mainly two main sides of the business. There's back of the house, there's front of the house. So in business terms, there's basically operations and there's marketing and sales. Figuring out what service you're going to provide, that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is marketing. Right? How do you get your message to stand out when there's a million other messages that are competing with yours? How do you actually get the phone to ring? People have always looked at the source of the information first and then what was the information. That is exactly what's changed. People look at the content first today. It means that anyone can create this content and get the attention of everybody if it's good content. In the last 15, 14 years, the number of millionaires has doubled since year 2000. Now, it's not about the money necessarily, it's about the success of people reaching extraordinary success. They're leveraging things, they're finding huge audiences for whatever it is they're selling. Right? The people who are ambitious and who are starting businesses are doing really, really well. They see the opportunity and they're thinking bigger. And they're not just thinking like a little bit bigger, they're thinking like, way bigger because there's a really interesting domino effect that takes place when you think really really big when when people think bigger there's really three huge things that happen number one your life's just a lot more exciting when you're doing big things when you're chasing big goals number two you end up inspiring everyone else around you and you know what the third thing is when you think really big like not just a little bit bigger but way bigger you end up hardly having any competition most of the time because you know what? Everyone else is too busy chasing realistic goals. This is probably the poster child of someone who just constantly thinks bigger. Uh, Sir Richard Branson, uh, you know, he started Virgin Galactic. And what about Elon Musk? You guys know who he is? He's the guy who started Tesla. Any competition there? Nope. No one thought to make a high performance electric car. They're thinking bigger. What about Steve Jobs? Are you kidding me? Everything this guy did when he got there, there was no one else there. He made a beautiful computer when no one was making beautiful computers. He's just thinking bigger. He's just thinking ahead of the pack. He comes out with a cool music player when all the other ones looked gar like garbage. He was all on his own again. That's the whole nature of thinking bigger. Guys, the road to being is through doing. Right? Do the big thing. Go after the big thing. Right? It's not going to work every time, but it might. And then it changes everything. It doesn't just change your life, it changes the world in some small way. I, sp I, I worked like crazy to speak in Dubai. And once I had done it, I became the guy who spoke in Dubai. Like, that's it. That's how this stuff works. Work like crazy for the milestone in front of you. Work like crazy. Like, do whatever it takes to achieve that milestone, because once you've achieved it, you became the guy or the gal who achieved it. And it becomes part of your past. It becomes part of who you are. And people are like, that, that person did this. They've done this and this and this, and they went to the Oakland Marriott that year and competed. This is one of them right here. And you start building them up. You get more and more as the years go by. One of my favorite quotes uh, is by a guy called William Gibson. The future is already here. It just isn't evenly distributed yet. Guys, we, we all know what's coming. We all know the trends. God, the future is right here. You guys, some of you guys are going to build big businesses. We don't know who they are. Some of you will you know, do better than others. That's okay. That's okay. It's all just about achieving your life purpose anyway. But the future, go change the world. Go make the world in your image. I believe this is possible. I believe that if you just do the things that the leaders in your industry are doing and take massive action and think bigger, that you can literally come down onto your goals from above. I believe that's possible. I believe that's possible today. Keep leading. Keep redefining your future and building the world in your own image.
At the end of the day, it's just about thinking way bigger. Not like a little bigger, like 10 times bigger. That's my message for you this morning. I'm certainly thrilled to have this opportunity, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you have an awesome day today.